Hi everyone, and let's take a look at how to install the Playwright MCP in VS Code. Now it's really cool because we've got this new thing, you click on the extensions and you've got installed, recommended, and now you've got your MCP servers installed. So these are the MCP servers I have installed. I've got GitHub, I've got ADO, and I can click on this and I've got the GitHub MCP server, I've got the configuration here. I'm using the URL um, to install this MCP server. Check out that because it's much better than the old way of doing it. So if you haven't already updated, go ahead and do that. And of course I can uninstall, I don't, don't wanna do that. Um, and I've got this little tool here, I can start the server, I can disconnect my account, I can show the output, show the configuration, configure model access and browse some resources. Okay, but as you can see here, I do not have the Playwright MCP installed. How do I go install that? Well, I can just click on this little world icon here and this is gonna open up a um, URL where I've got MCP servers for agent mode. How cool is this? So I've got all these developer tools, MCP servers, we've got Figma here, uh, we've got Sentry, we've got Microsoft Docs, uh, we've got Productivity, we've got Notion, Notion, wow. Um, we've got Monday.com, we've got Data Analytics, we've got Neon, we've got Microsoft Clarity, Appify, uh, Prisma Postgres, Mongo, and we've got PayPal, Stripe. This is so cool, there's so many MCP servers here that I need to check out. But I wanna install Playwright and look, I've got an install Playwright button. I can just click on this button and then do I trust this? Yes, I trust this website. And now I've got the MCP server for Playwright and I just have to click the install button just to confirm. And now I've got it installed. There is my Playwright MCP server right inside my um, MCP servers install section. And I can see the details, I can scroll down and read that if I wanted to. I can see the configuration, how it's configured. I can read the manifest, the pack, NPM package. And of course, I can just come along here and then I can start my server. So let's go ahead and do that. We'll start the server. And um, you can see I've discovered 25 tools, the server's running, let's close that. And let's go ahead and see it in action. So I'll go and open the chat and I can make sure I've got agent mode on and let's use voice and I'll say, go to debbie.codes and open the videos page. Okay, not giving it much instructions here, but I'm just, oh my gosh, sorry your request failed. Oh, doesn't it, isn't it really annoying when this happens? But look, the message is actually really clear. Um, it says the request ID, blah, 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 but the reason the tool limit exceeded, click configure tools in the chat input to disable seven tools and retry. So let's go ahead and do that. We could literally click on this and then you can see I have 123 tools selected. Way too many tools. So I don't need the built-in ones. I could click that because I just want to open my repo and I can scroll down to the other ones. For example, I've got the GitHub one. I could, I don't need the GitHub one right now. Now I've got 26 selected, That that's fine for now. And uh, I could click try again. That's one way of doing it, right? We'll go try again and I'll just show you that that works. Um, so I'll help you navigate to the videos page, running, play, write, navigate, etc. And it's open that up on another page. And we pull that across and there we go there. It's navigated to the debbie.codes videos page, great. Um, let's go back to here. Now, what else you can do is instead of having to, you know, configure all those, if I know I just want to use the Playwright MCP, I call it Playwright Tester, but basically this is my custom mode. In my custom mode, and I'll go up here and I'll show you the file. This is under my .git, .github folder, chat modes, and I've got Playwright Tester. I've got a couple of modes here, but this is a uh, Playwright Tester. And I've given it the tools that I want it to use. And then I've given it some core responsibilities. I want to explore the website, text improvements, test generation, test execution, documentation. So I can now, um, basically I don't have to worry about any more of these tools because it's only using those tools. I can come back along over here and now I'm using the Playwright Tester and I can just uh, press that up button again and tell it to go to debbie.codes. And um, this time it's basically, um, I've success, already successfully navigated it, sorry. It's already done it, I know, it's very clever. But it's already um, successfully navigated and the video page shows the main features, the topic filtering, the well-organized sections. So it's already um, done all the work that I needed because I have that um, in there, those instructions for it to do. So that's really cool. Um, the current the current content section is the recent videos, the conference talks, the live streams, and the browse by topic. So go ahead and check out my videos page for more videos. But definitely check that out, custom mode. And if you haven't already got the Playwright MCP installed, literally go along to Insta extensions and click on that world icon, 
browse the MCP servers and go and install the ones that you want to install. And then if you don't want to configure the tools, if you are getting that message, you know, just uh, uncheck and check those ones. And look at this, the selected tools are configured by the Playwright Tester chat mode. Changes to the tools will be applied to the mode as well. And that's it. So make sure you check out all these really cool MCP servers for agent mode and uh, quick install. Super simple. I need to install a Figma one. Definitely going to do that. See you in the next video.